control as well. For the team you think will come out on top, tweet hashtag enemy win or hashtag CST win to at level esports. We'll check in throughout the series to how to see how you guys are calling it. But an LCS spot is on the line. The best of five that determine who's going to be the next team to join Renegades and the other seven teams waiting in the wings. Objective so much easier. Target is the bottom lane here for Trashy, though, as he heads down for this gank. Good stun into Mash. Good headbutt by Conquan to buy some time, though. Here he comes. He's taking a lot of damage, and here comes Trashy. Alistair very low on health. He's got no way out of this one. Flashes for no avail. Point blank hit from Elise, and there's first blood. Well done, enemy. There's a couple of waves. Looks like Shrimp wants to tank this turret here. Uh, Chris is already setting up barrels for the dive as well. If they can stick him close enough. Here's the attempt. Oh, Flares! He taught it, Chris! That's not good! Turret shot comes through the outplay by Flares! <laughs> oh, no! Shrimp didn't get the ice ball in time Holy. to pull aggro. All right. That was a massive play from Flares. Uh, anyone to support on the him. Plank. Flares pulls aggro. In comes body drop. Stun's going to get layered here. And now, can he drop aggro in time? Flares getting away from the ultimate, getting away from the turret. All is well. Kill goes again to the jungler. Trashy 2-0. and zero. And actually get the... Uh-oh. They're actually going to go deep. He's still level Shen 5. Pop. Conquad will not get the stun on him, though. Enough knockback by Mash kept Otter from dealing any damage. Dragon picked up. They're aware of Nunu. Yeah, that's actually very, very poor for enemy. Sunfire Cape teleports back to lane. Of course, he has the ulti. Chris has no globals right now, but here comes the reveal. They want runs again for Conquan. The stun should land. One hit will do it. It'll flash in, and Otter's going to land some of that. But Mash again saves face. Ignite will oh! not kill him. He lives. An enemy cannot find kills. He was on his attack range long enough to not be afraid here. Oh, don't Gang let that. Gangplank ulti okay. will not get the steal. He didn't have spice, so. It's <laughs> a Gangplank still in the top lane. Chris is safe. Blue Trigger used, and they say, yeah, Coast, you deserved it. Well done. And there's Dragon. Yeah, Chris is split pushing. Looks like they are going to give up the tier two here for Coast, though. No, they're going to go for the Whoa, engage right engage. now. Big damage comes through. Shadowty popped onto Otter and Conquan taking big pain, but that leaves Inox alone. Ulti and damage. Mash goes in. He's going to get the kill, and he's going to rocket jump away from the Akathian surprise. Well, thought it was going to come down to Conquan getting to that back line, and he did it. They're still in it, too. Another combo to get Flares. Flares slowed down. Someone he'll use will save Vodder Drop for now, but Chilling Smite comes through, and Chris gets in with the parlay. Flares going to be the third death as well. Big fight for Coast. I think Otter's got to give up too much distance. If he goes in for a steal, no this is a suicide steal. Yeah, no smite at all. Not going to try at all. Blue team is slain. Baron Nasher and Coast off a 25-minute team fight. Take a commanding lead now in game one. Came in and landed a Q. Yeah, I mean, the AP Cog's got to be the heart of this. Uh-oh. Conquan pops his ultimate. Big slow still landing, but Killing does basically no damage thanks to the damage reduction on that ability. Death Star! Oh, oh man! Oh. Chris says thanks for the gold, and this game is starting to fall apart for enemy esports. Four kills picked up in two minutes. It might kill your mid laner. Five year olds, please do not play with this one. Oh man, that would be pretty fun, but not gonna happen here. Mash, see, that's what the comp was supposed to do get a ton of damage. Peak Wolf's low as well. They have to give up a lot of this wave, but guess what? Gangplank presses R, and suddenly that whole push just stops able to get it in time maybe they zone him out that's actually a good this is actually they a good engage this is a good position for coast actually going to try and cut him off here a little bit of damage done by chris going to put trash into half cocoon lands eats the oranges and now body drop forced to defend the team but a big knockup comes through here's the engage body drop goes down despite the ulti coming across from him taunt up to the front line but how much damage is really left now and wow flares Crushing the front line here, taking so much damage. Coast not really hurting. Coast actually don't even have to chase here. They got the huge win out of that. They can just clear out all the vision. Look to take out Baron now. Inox is running one. really low on mana too. He does not have a blue buff. He's going to run out. Coast have plenty it's of down. health. There's the push. There's blue team slaying Baron Nasher for the second time. Coast very far ahead. 36 minutes in. Only five kills. Yep, Chris already knocked on the top lane. And Flares can't fight him. He's got so damn much damage. As this gangplank runs around incredibly fast as well, chunks down everything, just goes for the uh, inhibitor itself, mostly ignores flares actually, yeah. does not hit him even though he do plenty of damage, gets the inhibitor by himself, and now Chris on the run, gets time to blows up a barrel, still gotta be careful of this one, pops the ulti, and he's gonna turn back into this one, he's got plenty of crit chance, trashy, wow, can't even do anything but watch, and down he goes, bot lane now under fire as well. All the crit you need on MASH and hitter turret number two is down. Number three is down as Peekable took down the mid lane. Chris, of course, is helping. This will be all three inhibitors taken down in a 30 second span. Yep, that's going to be Coast just closing the noose here. Enemy 
gonna have to watch the Nexus turrets fall. Man, Gangplank just is so is so ridiculous at this point because he can perma buy Elixir of Wrath and heal up almost as much as a uh, remove scurvy. Oh, with yeah, pretty much true. every <laughs> every shot. He's gonna kill body drop. Blocks of the damage. Trip wants in. Maybe overextends for it though, but he's tanky enough to not really pay for that. Oh. Transgressions don't mean much. Chris, 480 CS now. It's just gold income. So they play the safe road. Dragon 5 is picked up here, 40 minutes in. And here they lead into the front lines. The team is there for the Nexus turrets themselves. Ulti in for body drop. Here comes the engage. Can they find it? Chris down to half. Conquan. Not taking a whole bunch of pain. Shrimp zones him out, and the ult's going to buy even more time. 1600 damage from the barrels here, and just everything is getting destroyed now. One turret's gone, here's the next flares, gets the taunt, peek and the target, and they might just take him down, but is it gonna be enough? The Nexus is laid there, here comes the push in for Coast. They close out game one, two more, and Coast are back in the LCS.